Hi, it's Karen Boniker, and I'd like to introduce you to a new brush pack called Alcohol Ink for Painter Essential 7. And what I'd like to do is take you through how to use these brushes. You can start with a canvas, a blank canvas with color on it if you'd like, or you can use a texture and open an existing watercolor paper texture or even a painting and have some fun manipulating it uh, and giving it the look of an alcohol ink pour. So I've started off with um, this watercolor paper and what I'd like to show you first of all is the very first brush called Bulge. And as I start working with this brush you can see that it creates a circular bulge effect. You can use it um, and drag it throughout the canvas or you can put uh, firm pressure down on the canvas and I'll zoom in here a little so you can see this better. You can see how it moves the pixels around and creates this large bulge type shape. So this would be um, reminiscent of you know the first pour of alcohol going into your alcohol pour, your ink. All right, and the next brush we're going to take a look at is called Grainy Pour. And this one, um, I actually like using this one a little bit larger. Um, I'm going to sample some of the color that I see and kind of move it through the canvas. And it's a good brush to uh, start with when you're starting with your very first pour, for example, on a uh, canvas layer. and it has lots of texture. It will respond to paper texture if you select that. And you can just kind of dab it to create a nice effect as where that's grainy pour. The next brush is Ink Drop. This one I like using on a new layer. <clears throat> um, I liked uh, having the flexibility of kind of changing colors if I want. I use it at different sizes and all you're doing is putting firm pressure on the brush to create these uh, amazing ink drops. Soft pressure will give you a smaller dot, a smaller ink drop, and large pressure you're going to get a nice big, um, nice big drop, ink drop. That's uh, ink drop. The next one is oil splatter. And this one um, you can use on the canvas layer or simply use it on a new layer as well. And I'm just going to kind of splat my paint through here. And you can see how it has that lovely kind of transparency coming through from the top layer. So this will give you a nice effect. <clears throat> Oil splatter. The next one is, I'll add a layer here, called pour. And this one is, uh, you can use it at a small brush size. Let me get a new color here and you can see how it intermingles with the paint on the canvas or you can just add more paint. Use it big to give you a big pour of paint and you can use it smaller smaller brush size to create a smaller ribbon of ink flow that's pour. The next brush is ribbon pour. <clears throat> and this one um, I like using a little bit larger as well. Um, it has a lot of transparency to the brush stroke so it's really going to move the pixels around uh, you know depending on, on what layer you're on. So you can use it on existing layers that have pixels. And you can see that it's very very wet as it flows through the ink. Ribbon Pour. The next brush is Slow Pour and <clears throat> this brush uh, is going to move existing pixels around and so it's more of a blending brush to blend those existing pixels that uh, you know that, that you're working on layer by layer or on the canvas layer. and that is slow pour. The next brush is splat and this brush you can use um, on a new layer. 
um, or you can use it on an existing layer. I like using it on a new layer because it is gel based so it's going to give you kind of a watercolor effect but that doesn't mean that you can't go back into it and um, affect those pixels. So how you would do that is you could pick up one of your other brushes and go to the splat layer and then drop that layer to the canvas. And a quick way to do that would be to select the layer, come over to the layers panel and choose drop. And now I can go in and you can see how I can easily affect those watercolor type layers, watercolor pixels on that layer. Get a really neat effect with that one. The next one is stir and this one is what it's going to do is kind of uh, it would be as if you were taking a stick and going into your ink and moving it around or the tip of a brush. So it just kind of stirs the ink. You can co uh, put firm pressure on your stylus and work in kind of a circular fashion. And you can see how that moves the pixels. and any particular layer that you're working on. The next brush is called Thick Pour and um, I'll use that in rather large brush size here so you can see this and as I pour it through the ink, uh, the initial pour, you can see how it flows out. Really a lovely brush, lots of beautiful shape and transparency to it. We'll go ahead and drop all the layers and then maybe we'll play with that brush a little bit more so you can see how that moves around. And let's go back to the ink drop now and put a few more ink drops in here. Remember firm pressure and you get a nice flow out of the ink drop and then soft pressure you can get a nice small brush nice small dot ink drop. Okay, so that is the new alcohol ink brushes for painter essentials and I hope you'll enjoy working with them. They're lots of fun. Take care.